Okay, and now we've come to the part in the video where we're going to do probably one of my favorite designs. Um, this is this is the uh, monkey, my monkey, which actually is not exactly Lorna's monkey, because Lorna showed me a monkey, and then I kind of changed it, and then I forgot it, and then I tried to remember what she had done, and then tried to recreate it, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, this is what I came, this is what it turned out to be. In order to make this monkey, we are going to use three brown 260s, one blush 260, and one brown 160. <laughs> um, and you want them all inflated, um, basically so that you have some room to twist. Um, if you can get them kind of all the same size, that's great. If not, eh, don't worry about it. It'll, you'll work it out in the end. You'll see. Um, anyway, the blush... We just, we really need enough only just to do the face. That's all the blush is going to do. So we're going to start it, same as we started so many others, with a big loop twist. Or I should say with a hand-shaped, you know, a hand-sized loop twist. Same with all of it. Around and over and through. And then you're going to, after you make your two loop twists, you're going to make, again, that soft, that soft bubble that is going to make um, either either a, a very big loop twist or a very, very small loop twist. And as you can see, I mean, so many of the faces are, are based on this. So essentially, what we're making to start out with is pretty much the fish lips. But now here's where it gets different. We're going to go up. About, you know, across your hand and grab it, same as always. Make that dog head again with the, uh, the pinch twist bubble in the middle and then coming down and mashing it. And then I twist it and then also take this and kind of go around and over and through. Okay. There we go. And this, this last piece here, we're actually going to get rid of most of that and turn that into a bubble. We don't need to do that. Well, all right, let's do it right now. So we're going to twist that off, hold it while we get our scissors and uh, try to cut a small hole in it so that it quietly deflates and so it's explosively popping. Like so. Okay, so this is the beginnings of our monkey face. Now we want to take one of our brown balloons, twisting off the bubble in the back, the same like we did for Shopper's cute little dog. We're going to do that same process, twisting that bubble in, and then bringing that up and around your pin, our pinch twist. And back down. just to make sure that everything's nice and tight. We'll fix those funky bubbles in the back a little bit later. Okay, now we also want to make sure that we have a little bit of give here, because a little bit later we're going to need that. So, here's what we have now. We're just going to put this down for right now. Stay. And we're going to start working on the second part. Now, basically his body is very much like a hitchhiker body. Um, or not like the hitchhiker, but you know, one of Ken's little men kind of based on the hitchhiker style. Okay, so we're going to make a little bubble and then a slightly bigger bubble to match it. And then I always just kind of roll it through. And I just do that to keep everything tight. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, on the other side. And as long as the two are the same to each other, it doesn't actually matter how big or how small you make it. I, I kind of like to make the small little hands instead of bigger hands. And then I put a bend in it right now instead of later for his arms. Take them down, match them up, twist them off, pull them around, just get it tight. Grab a little handful like that, and then I, you know, grab it at the same time and twist it around. Like that, and like that, and 
And then I'm going to grab, oh, about a little more than a handful's worth for his body. Twist it around. And grab this, same as we did before. And twist it around. People always comment on my cute little, cute little butt he has. So, uh, there's that. I don't want to stretch these balloons up. You can see that they're getting a little bit tight. And all we have left to do, I put my bend in it usually before I make the feet. That way I'm not trying to bend an extremely tight balloon. Make a little bubble. And a loop. There's the foot. And one more. A bubble. And a loop. There's the other foot. Okay, very common body, very simple. Twist the arm. Now we're going to take the monkey's head, and this is one where I actually do use a little bit of a longer neck. And we're just going to twist that right in there with the rest. Now this is going to make his neck, um, his head, neck, stomach, and tail. So twist it in there, bring it around. Make this the third bubble for the body. Just twist the whole body around to do it. And then I usually, you know, bring that tail up and up and around those bubbles. Now, some people would say that I do a lot of unnecessary twisting and that I'm wasting time and whatever. I would just rather waste that time and have a very secure sculpture than not. And then again, like the little monkey. We're just going to kind of curl and shape that tail. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to trim off these little pieces here. One there. One here. And he's pretty cute just like this. However, I kept looking at it like this and saying, hmm, something's missing, something's missing. And finally one day I go, oh, the ears. So here we go with the ears. For the ears, we're going to take our 160. And really, all we want out of our 160 is two palm size loops. One. And if you make them bigger, then he'll just have bigger ears. It'll just be more common. Two. So, you know, well, you by now know how to make those. Okay, now, this is really easy to do since it's a 160. So I open up those ears, and I'm going to basically sew it up with the balloon putting it through and around and through a couple of times. Because at this point, I need to get rid of this balloon, and I want this secure. I don't want this coming apart. So there we go. And we're left with our little figure eight. So now remember that I said that we needed a little bit of flexibility here in the monkey's head? That's because what we now are going to do, we want to put our hand kind of inside the monkey's head like that, and at the same time wedge those ears in and kind of pull that head out, and at the same time kind of push and pull until you get those ears in place. I then like to open up those ears and give them a little bit of a, kind of a square shape. And now it's time to draw the eyes. Here, I'll do a combination of styles on the eyes. I can't draw upside down and inside out and round around. No, it looks good. Like some other people. <laughs> okay. And oh, you much better eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and there we have the monkey. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh.